it's good to see you this morning. So last night was Halloween, and I don't know how many of you dressed up and went out trick-or-treating. We didn't. Um, my wife's church had a trunk or treat, and we had a trunk or treat at our church, and so my boys went uh, trick or treating at both of those trunk or treats. And we didn't go door to door because, well, we just didn't want to uh, take a risk that we would take uh, a virus with us if we went, because that's kind of a big deal right now. But I'm interested in what you dressed up as if you did go trick or treating or if you did go to trunk or treat. Uh, what did you dress up as? I know at our trunk or treat, I saw uh, a Mario, and I saw some Transformers. I saw some uh, Star Wars characters. I saw a sumo wrestler. I saw a whole bunch of different uh, characters uh, from video games and movies and things that kids like and just some fun stuff. Uh, whenever you dress up as a character... Do you ever, like, when you put that mask on, do you ever pretend that you actually are that character? I remember once when I was a kid, uh, my mom made me a Spider-Man costume, and I pretended like I was Spider-Man, and we had wooden floors in our house, and our, like, our hallways were made of wood, and so we could just slide down those hallways like we're swinging on, on, uh, the, on the Spider-Man's webs. It was so fun. Well, right now... There is a mask that we're supposed to wear all the time. And it's not a, a superhero mask. It's not a Transformer mask. It's not a Halo mask. It's not any other kind of mask. But it is a mask uh, for our mouse that will um, help prevent uh, the virus from spreading. And uh, some people are asking, you know, why, uh, why are we doing that? Uh, well, for one, the medical... Uh, field has asked us to wear those things, but why is, do Christians wear that mask? And uh, the reason why, and the reason why I encourage you to continue to wear those, those masks, is because it shows that we love our neighbors um, enough that we're willing to put on something that's inconvenient for us. And this is, you know, guys, this kind of breaks down all of our faith, that we love other people enough that we're willing to undergo some discomfort and some sacrifice. And that's really what our, our faith is about. And by wearing that mask, it's, it's an outward sign that you love God and that you trust Jesus and that you are willing to do in a small way what Jesus went to the cross for to do for us, which is to save the world. So I want you guys to think about that today. I want you to think about you know the fun that you had uh, for Halloween and as you eat that candy. Also remember uh, in the love that Christ has for us and what he put on for us and what we put on for the sake of the world. Okay, guys, thanks for joining me today. If we could close in prayer, that'd be great. Good and gracious God, uh, today is All Saints Day, and we remember all the faithful that went before us. And we remember, too, that someday others will look at us as examples of faith in their life, that we will be saints to somebody else. Help us take the small measures we can today to promote faith and to promote love and help in the world. Uh, help us to love our neighbors as much as we can uh, so that we can keep them safe even while we're keeping ourselves safe. God, these things in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, guys, it's been great to visit with you this week, and we'll catch you next time. Take care and God's peace be with you.